President Muhammadu Buhari has warned those promoting crime and insurrection in the country, noting that his administration will treat them in the language they understand. The president also said many of those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the Nigerian Civil War. He spoke on Tuesday after meeting with the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, and other electoral commissioners in Aso Villa Abuja over the series of attacks on INIC facilities, especially in the southeastern part of the country. The question of insecurity in the country uh, is being mentioned all over the world not only here in Nigeria. Um, but I believe there are Nigerians that will attempt at least to be fair by what I believed, that I will run the country according to the Constitution. Now, with all these people who want power, whether, whoever they are, Have they proved that I was not following the Constitution? Well, I, am I not leading the country according to the Constitution? What do they want? I had one impression which uh, gave me a lot of uh, hope and confidence to continue the way I wanted. So whoever wanted diversion or destruction of the system at this point, I think we'll soon have their shock of their lives. I think we have given them enough latitude. They have made their case. They just wanted to destroy the country. Simple. Because what do they want? We're now joined by uh, Biodun Shoumi, a political analyst. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, apologies. Um, President Buhari has promised to shock all of those who perpetuate uh, violence in Nigeria. Uh, there's been various reactions to it. Some Nigerians see these as uh, simply talking tough. Uh, so let's get your view. What is your reaction to the president's statement? Well, uh, I think the president is right to talk tough. But it has to be tough with the causes of criminality. It is one thing to talk tough about crime, and it is also another thing to deal with the causes of crime. The president is not addressing the causes of crime. He's talking tough, promising to deal with uh, the promoters, according to Mr. President, uh, those who he identified as promoters. Um, um, outside the course of the Constitution. Um, but at the same time, he's not addressing their grievances. In fact, Mr. President exhibited a lack of understanding of the challenges facing the country, the security challenges facing the country. So it All is. Right. All right, apologies for the uh, poor network uh, with that uh, conversation. Uh, Mr. Shomi, if you can hear me, um, you know, let's move on to talking about. Well, let's move on to talking about the type of actions you know we should be expecting from the presidency and uh, security agencies in the next few days. Uh, you already made mention that it seems like he uh, misunderstands what the um, actual situation is. Well, it's not about misunderstanding. I think Mr. President lacks the appreciation of the agitations and the reasons for agitations by those who are calling for to exercise their right to self-determination. Um, if you listen to the speech clearly, uh, he's not talking about it. He's saying, what do they want? That is, he does not even understand the issues being raised by people about Fulani, Edsmed, destroying farmers' farm, about the fact that uh, the, there is widespread poverty in the country, about the fact that banditry has taken over uh, the whole um, overwhelmed the whole security architecture of the country. And uh, then what the president is saying is, look, what do they want? What about those who have been calling for restructuring for years, which uh, s s the, the government failed to listen to, and we suddenly now have 
the whole thing migrating away from the structuring to the right to serve determination. I think uh, Mr. President does not understand the issues or he lacks sense of appreciation of it. But okay. he's talking tough about criminality, and that on his own will not solve the problem. On the All security, right. on what we expect, we expect the um, military to get a marching order to crack down and possibly impose coffee in some sections of the country. But this will not solve the problem because the nature of the, um, the struggle we are facing currently is like an insurgency. It's hit and run. It's not a conventional warfare. Uh, and I don't think we have the capacity you know, to open two or three multiple war fronts, uh, given the fact that we're already fighting the Northeast against the people around. Okay. So I think... Yeah, um, I, I, just moving on, still on the same thing, you know, do, do you think, you know, that, um, like what you've said, military action um, would be best? So would you recommend, you know, dialogue as a way to foster uh, peace um, in the country, as it seems? You remember you also have said that uh, the president may not appreciate, you know, the reasons behind the agitations. Yes, you know, um, what is very clear is the country must not embark on an exercise of self-deception. Um, if there's anybody in this country today who does not understand the havoc uh, and the plight of farmers, you know, the havoc wrecked by Fulani headsmen rampaging all over the whole place with um, cattle, you know, I'll be surprised. And that's an exercise in self-deception, you know, not actually seeing it as it is. The fact of the matter is, no matter the level of militarization, um, of the landscape in Nigeria, that will not stop people from agitating. The solution is always dialogue. It is far better for us to judge all now, either convoke a sovereign national conference or go back to the ones uh, did by Jonathan's regime, you know, and then we can resolve most of our problems in that way. If we don't migrate to true federalism, we will not be able to handle the fallout of this issue. Okay. Most Nigerians want to live together, but they don't want to live as second-class citizens in their own country or where their lives are threatened in their own villages and communities. And these are the basic facts. The president has not addressed the issue facing Nigeria. So we really need to sit down and talk so that Mr. President can understand these issues clearly. Then he will realize that there is no military to solution to this problem other than... All right. So, so do, do you think... Um you know, from, from your statements, do you think uh, the president doesn't appreciate the details, uh, you know, surrounding all of the insurrections um, or has chosen to ignore them? Which would you think it truly is? Because there's people in reaction to his message uh, yesterday had pointed out that ethnicism and tribalism and, you know, um, you know, something about, you know, looking like hate for the southeast. So do you think it is a lack of understanding and appreciation of the situation, or uh, the president chooses yes, the, to ignore we them? We must say that the president does not know what is going on in the country. If the president is not reading newspapers, his aides are reading newspapers. So obviously, he must have been told. And I'm sure Mr. President at least watch the national televisions. Okay, uh, well, um, I, I was hoping that you would get my last question. Um, Shagun Shoumi, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Okay, thanks. All right. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.